One of the questions that I get all the time is why did I choose the Onyx CTY2 over the Onyx RCR or other e-bikes? Today I'm going to answer that question. I think Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's E-Rock Rods, and today we're going to talk about why I purchased the Onyx CTY2 e-bike. As a disclaimer, everyone has different tastes and preferences, but these are the reasons why I chose the Onyx CTY2. I have nothing against the RCR, as it's an amazing bike. I didn't necessarily need it. It's a little bigger, faster, heavier, but comes with a bigger price tag. But with all that being said, let's get into it. First of all for me was the standover height. For anyone that follows the channel, they know that I'm a shorter rider. Technically, it's the same height as the RCR Shorty. I was debating between the RCR Shorty and the CTY2 for a while, but I felt that the CTY2 was just a little bit easier to mount as it is a step-through model. With that being said, let's talk about the aesthetics. I've always been a fan of step-through style bikes. When I saw this model, I immediately fell in love with the style. In my opinion, it looks a little less like a motorbike and more of a regular style bike. So if you live in an area that this could be a problem and you're trying to stay inconspicuous, this e-bike seems to fly below the radar. This is a bike that you really can enjoy stock. The RCR has some different options when purchasing the bike, but currently the CTY2 only comes in one option. Eventually, many people like to mod their bikes, but many will be perfectly happy with a stock bike. It has amazing torque and top-end speed. It comes with turn indicators, a horn, security system, and these are all mods that I eventually added to all my previous e-bikes. I am not a big modder. More or less, I like to buy a bike and enjoy the ride as is. One thing to note is that I did do one major modification. I purchased a bigger aftermarket battery from Powerful Lithium. You can check out my other videos on my channel about this battery upgrade. As I mentioned before, the speed and torque is amazing in comparison to many other e-bikes in this price category. The speed and torque may not be as fast as the RCR, but it's just enough that I personally need it in the e-bike. I've spoken about this in previous videos, but with this bike, I feel confident that I have enough torque and top end speed to keep up with city traffic. It's very rare that I need to ride the bike at the top speed all the time, but I feel that it's better to have the speed and torque when you really need it, than to need it and not have it. Price is a relative term, and it may not be an expensive e-bike to some, but to others, it's a pretty big investment, including myself. The CTY2 is just under 4 grand, but at one point it was 500 bucks less during the Black Friday sales. I personally think it's worth every penny, even at full price. I'm a very value-oriented customer when shopping for e-bikes, and this bike brings a lot of value along with aesthetics to match. I think the CTY2 is approachable enough for a new rider or even a great upgrade for any seasoned rider. I started out riding Electric XP, then moved to an Aerial Rider X-Class, but eventually moved to the CTY2. The RCR can be a bit more intimidating to some because of its size and power, but the CTY2 is a great compromise that bridges the gap between an RCR and let's say, a Super 73 or an Aerial Rider e-bike. The last thing to mention is the riding stability in comparison to the RCR. Because the battery is positioned lower on the bike frame, the CTY2 has a low center of gravity and the balance feels very stable while riding. You can definitely feel the difference in the weight distribution of the battery in the RCR versus the CTY2. The RCR feels more top heavy, while the CTY2 weight sits nice and low. With all this being said, I like the RCR, and if I had the budget, I would add one to my collection. But I am 100% happy with the choice of the CTY2. So what are your thoughts? If you could only choose one bike, what would you choose? If you live in or close to the New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area and are interested in an Onyx CTY2 or Onyx RCR, make sure to check out White Marsh Revolutionary Cycles and let them know that E-Rock Rod sent you. I'll leave the link below. 
Thank you for checking out the video. If you are still watching this, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Also, leave a comment down below on what type of videos you would like to see next. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next video. Right on! Thank you.